In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can transform any regular photo into a double exposure using Photoshop. So let's get started. To create this effect, I'm going to use these two images that I found on deviantart.com and if you want to use the same images, the download link is in description, so feel free to use it. Now few important tips for the people who are doing this effect for the first time. Number one, try using a red head or a black head. I mean you can still make blondes in double exposure, but they are just a little difficult. Number two, try images with white background because it will make it a lot easier for you to make selection. Number three and most important, try using images that are looking sideways. I mean you can create images uh, that are looking frontways but uh, sideways images are just a little bit easier and they will help you understand the effect even better. Now as you guys can see my image is already open inside Photoshop and if you want you can go to file and open any image you want. Now first of all we need to cut her from the background so go and select your quick selection tool and make a selection around her and since it's a white background it should be really easy to make selection and while making the selection if you are using the same image leave this part just select the hand and that seems fine now double click on your layer and unlock it then click on this little mask icon here and it will apply a layer mask now create a new layer and put this under it and let's fill in the white color so go and select your paint bucket tool and fill in the white color now once the basic layout is ready, uh, let's go and add the tree. So this is the tree I found on DeviantArt and it is a PNG file so you don't have to cut it from the background. So I'm just gonna press Ctrl A then Ctrl C. Let's come here and paste it. So that seems fine to me. And since we already cut her from the background, uh, once you put the tree under it, uh, you can see it something like this. Uh, then uh, let's press Ctrl T and make the tree something like this because I want her like uh, leaves on her head so that seems fine hit enter and then on to the woman so let's try and making it make her a bit smaller and in the center like that and let's put her something like this and that seems better now once everything is ready, uh, select your layer 0, this model layer and change its blending mode to the lighten. Now you can see the basic idea of the double exposure. Now you have to adjust the tree. Uh, so select your tree, press Ctrl T and now start adjusting it until it looks satisfying to you. So that kinda looks fine to me and that seems actually really good. Hit enter. Now we need to remove the tree from this area. So stay with me. First of all, we need to apply a layer mask on the tree. So go here and apply a mask. Now select this mask from the girl and control click on it. So you can load the selection. Now we need to inverse it because we, we need to remove the outside. So go to select and inverse it. Uh, where is it? Inverse it. Now go and select the tree mask. Grab your brush tool and paint with black color so it will remove the tree that is outside. So if you remove it, it will also go away, but we do not need that one. We need to remove only this area. So let's remove that and also a bit of things here and there. And once you think the basic idea is ready, press Ctrl D. So that looks great. Now we also need to remove these things. So you can remove it even without selection. I hope you understood what I did with that and if not, uh, ask me in the comment or rewatch this thing it will help a lot so now we also need to remove this bits of hair so now this time select her and paint with black color so we can get rid of the hair so that seems fine and that is great you can paint back a couple of things if that seems fine to you right click and let's make it 0% hard so it doesn't look weird and let's put it like that okay that is great now there is also one thing we need to get rid of this trunk because that doesn't look really good. So go and select your any let's say lasso tool seems fine and go and select the uh, mask or image whatever doesn't matter. So let's go and make a sort of selection around here and like that. Okay seems fine. Now so make sure you have selected mask after the selection and go and paint with black color so we get rid of that and that is good now press ctrl D to remove the selection it obviously doesn't look beautiful 
but I will show you a way so in the brush go and select this uh, weird brush we always have here and then uh, all you have to do is just start painting with it and instead of black paint with white color so it will reveal the area and click on this little icon here so it will help you to rotate it so that seems fine and let's make it bigger using bracket key you can also do it manually and start making a little bit of things like this so now if I zoom out you can see the kind of uh, effect is ready now if I zoom in you can see that there are a couple of things missing from her face and if you want to bring those back it is really easy all you have to do is just duplicate this layer uh, right click and delete layer mask so, and then put it on normal mode so as you can see the image is there if I turn it off you can see now apply a layer mask again and then fill in the black color so everything is hidden so you have a blank uh, so you have a normal layer with black mask so everything is hidden now go and select a brush tool and this time a normal brush and go and start painting here with white color so it will make uh, everything back so I'm gonna show you what we are actually doing so if I turn it this two off you can see we are just painting back that normal face on top of this effect so if I turn it on and off you can see the difference now once you think everything is okay and it, it seems fine uh, all you have to do is just uh, select your layer from here go to image adjustment and turn it to desaturate so where is it here and then do the same with this top image go to image adjustment and go and desaturate and then your image is ready and for some touches you can do one thing create a new adjustment layer and select solid and select a bluish color uh, any dark blue color will do uh, like that and then change the blending mode to exclusion and turn down opacity something so if I turn it on and off you can see it gives that overall feeling and the vignetting so there are many ways to create a vignette so create a new blank layer uh, select your brush uh, with black color make it really big like that and then paint uh, on the sideways something like this and it doesn't have to be accurate and then something like this a touch here and a touch there and then uh, make the opacity zero and then start building it up a little until it seems fine so if I turn it on and off you can see that difference and it looks really good so uh, this way you can create a double exposure effect uh, it was quite confusing but if you want to create this particular style of effect it is so <laughs> So that's it for today's video and if you really learned something hit that like button it will help my video a lot. Now if you want to learn this effect on even more advanced level click the box on the left it will show you the tutorial or if you want to learn how to create some random extract effect click the one on the right. Also you can subscribe to my channel so whenever I upload a new video you can get the update and you can also go to my channel to check out more than 50 awesome free photoshop tutorials. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop.